Hello, welcome to Bud Nixon's channel. Uh, today's episode is gonna be adventure ready process something. So for those who've been watching my channel for some time, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for those who are new, welcome. Um, if you don't know who I am, I recommend, I guess, looking through other videos. Um, I post from time to time adventure videos or shop videos or whatever. Um, in this episode though, as the topic, I'm gonna to do my best to describe it as complete and as short as possible. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a heater slash water heater. It's a basically a Chinese version of the Truma Combi heater for those who know and came here because of that reason, then you know what this is all about. And uh, what we're doing is we're building a customer Ford Transit van and this is gonna be full like a van lifer style build out with a bed and all that stuff. So as uh, those who know and like to do things the right way, um, the right way is to put a water heater, to put a heater, to you know plumb stuff, have the water tank and all the good things that you could have in a van. Um, and I'm just talking right now to the van lifers uh, here. So this video is to cover the unit and I guess the components and uh, how the installation works. Um, quite possibly if you watch some of, if you watch or watched some of the previous of my videos, you will see the same heater was installed in the camper trailer that I recently finished building. Uh, my version in the camp, in the trailer is a propane version. And this one is a gas version. So this one will be tapped into the actual gas tank. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having a diesel heater fuel cell separate from your vehicle, or you don't have to worry about propane because in this case, customer uh, purchased this van with an extended fuel tank. I think the thing is like, gosh, 35 gallons or so. Uh, so being tap, being able to tap into the tank uh, makes it just very convenient. Um, and obviously just, it's simple. And how we tap into, the tank is via what is called auxiliary fuel port, which comes factory, in, at least in our case, in this van, uh, in most Ford Transits, and I think a lot of other fuel tanks might have um, auxiliary ports, so you just have to basically kind of look into it. Uh, if you don't, it comes with this. Basically, you have to make an opening in your fuel tank so you can somehow siphon the fuel with this uh, pulse pump to your heater in order for it to uh, work as it should. But in our case, like I said, this should be a pretty snap and easy installation uh, while using the uh, auxiliary fuel port. So we got the controller. Um, and if you stay tuned to the next part, which I'm sure the video will be uh, up eventually as well. Once we have this installed, you'll see how the monitor works because this is the, the controller unit basically, which displays time and all the settings for the heater, the water heater and the fan and all that stuff. Um, this is our exhaust intake outtake port, which will be mounted via this uh, hose that's provided as well. Wiring for the fuel pump and obviously all the clamps and all the hardware that comes in this kit. Uh, if you're interested to have this installed in your van, I do these installations. Um, the amount of hours spent on installation varies depending on the application, considering the fact that uh, if it's a blank slate where you just take the heater, put it, you know, anywhere where we decide with the customer and it's a matter of just hooking it up, it's one thing. But when we're installing it custom into uh, a vehicle that already has pre-built cabinetry or such, right? So there's a lot more fabrication, a lot more time goes into uh, installation. Um, and these are not cheap. So if you eBay research, you're going to find them. I think they start about, if I remember correct, about 2,500 bucks. And uh, I'll do a little bit cheaper if you are willing to wait. And uh, we can install, obviously, and do all this stuff and make it work. So far, uh, this is not the first unit that I've installed. And uh, everyone that I've seen have these installed and one that I've installed personally, I found them to be totally reliable. I found them to be efficient um, and work as they are, um, you know, projected or as they should. 
Um, anyway, they're they're pretty basic and they're pretty simple. So, like I said, all the hardware is included, and we're going into this fan. The point of the location is customer in our case wants to have it installed in this area of the van because when the heater is going to be running the door will be shut obviously um, and the exhaust will be over here because he wants to spread the heat out through the front and back sections of the uh, of this area so um, if you are building a Ford Transit van you might find uh, this information useful so thanks for tuning in and check out other stuff and other things that we're doing um, for now, I guess I'm going to say bye and until next time.